What's up guys, today we're gonna be saying who can make the best fast food restaurant. However, Ooh. it's gonna be 10 times funner because we are gonna be doing it in bouncy houses. Let's go! Let's do this! But before we get started guys, we are gonna do the fan board. So for this one, I was on my TikTok page and I saw a comment that somebody said, I'm still trying to be on the fan board because one time I was first on video but I didn't get to it. So, I'm giving you a second chance. I saw it finally. So this person's name is Emo V X L L L. And there we go. Guys, if we don't get you on the first try, just keep on trying and we will eventually get to you. I'll look through the comments and yeah, that is it. Let's get on to the bouncy houses. So to determine who will get what bunch, you guys, we are gonna have a bouncy house parkour contest. Let's go! Whoever gets the fastest time gets the highest budget, whoever gets the lowest gets the lowest. So let's go. All right, first person will go is Paul. And one, two, three, go. Next person is Jetta. One, three, three, go. Ah! I'm out. Time. Eleven point six. Oh my god! I was so scared. She said she really fast at it. Oh my god! I thought she went faster than me for a second. I thought so too. Lastly is me. And you ready? Yep. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. You beat me, congratulations. All right, so I have the highest budget, Paul is the middle, and Jetta has the lowest budget. Now it's time to choose our restaurants. I mean, the best win, guys. All right, I choose Taco Bell. That's right. I'm gonna go with Subway. I haven't done that before. Uh, Jump and juice. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, here's a little tour of my bouncy house. I got the biggest one, so here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm going to do a little drive-thru right here. It was just a little spot. Here is gonna be my lobby, the main lobby, and then on the side where the slide is, there's gonna be a playground for, you know, the play place, because every restaurant needs a play place. Uh, and yeah, guys. All right, guys, well, my restaurant only has a kitchen, because it's like super small, but that's okay, because we have a drive-thru, and we have outside seating, which is special. All right, so my restaurant is equipped with a slide in and out entrance. Then we got a drive-thru on the side, and in the inside, we have a kitchen slash lobby, because everybody is an employee slash customer here. So for my Taco Bell side, I want to make it interactive. I'm actually going to cut little ribbons on the bottom, so you have to go through the sign to get in. It's going to be super fun. Here are all the ingredients I got. I got a lot, and I, I only got the ones that I like, because I think my sandwich is the best, really. This is my favorite. I got black forest ham, provolone cheese, mayonnaise, tomato, olives, a bunch of ingredients to make a bunch of different sandwiches. I like my sandwiches toasted, so I couldn't forget about that. I got a mini toaster oven. This kind of looks like the one at Subway, right? I think this would be good enough. Now I'm going to figure out how to get it all in the bouncy house, put it in a way that it won't fall everywhere. All right, so Jumbo Juice is super simple. All they have is smoothies, so that's why I got a bunch of different fruits, so I can have a big menu and a big selection. Plus, I got yogurt, because yogurt mixed with all the different fruits, because yogurt with fruits, when you mix it, tastes so good. And all you need for that is a blender. So actually, I got the easiest thing. That's why I chose it. And ta -da! Guys, so I put them in little containers with covers. They're gonna have covers. And look at this. I got my ham. I cut it open so I can just easily get it. When I'm done, close it back up and it seals like that. And that's the same with everything else, guys. I think this should work because when I'm bouncing in there, everything is gonna go everywhere. And trust me, I'm gonna be bouncing. All right, guys, I got everything ready for number seven large. And that's all I wanna be serving because that's my favorite thing. And that's what everybody should eat at Taco Bell because it's delicious and I can't get enough of it. But anyways, I've got everything. Now I'm gonna set it all up because you know, it's a bouncy house. We gotta make it secure. Guys, my Taco Bell is finished. I wanna give you a quick little tour. So first, I already cut this so you can easily get in. Oh. So this is how customers are gonna have to get in, all right? You have to jump in. Next, you can have fun with the employees, I guess, because we're all in this same lobby here. And you can cook if you want, or you can let the employee cook. But anyways, here is our amazing menu over here. We are featuring the number seven chicken quesadilla, small or large. That's all there is on the menu because that is the best thing there is. All right, since I'm a great employee, I'm gonna actually prep the meat for the tacos. I'm doing that before customers even come in because this is fast food. We got utensils. That's okay. This is fine. This is totally sanitary. This is brand new. All right, guys. I got it all set up now. I got my subway sign and my menu and all my ingredients in my oven. And now let me give you a little tour. So, like I said, here's my main lobby, guys. And I got all my ingredients here. It's 
really nice and sanitary. Everything's together, I promise. I got my oven up there, my menu right here. So for $23.99, I will make it for you. And for $10.99, you can make it yourself. Also, I got the drive through right here. So if you want, you can just go around, get a sandwich, and uh, yeah. Last thing, it is a must. All customers have to go down the slide. It's a must, you just can't leave without that. If you don't go down the slide, I will take your sandwich and I will stomp on it. Oh no! Oh, it's hot grease! Okay, wait. Prepping meat is tough, guys. Oh, it's so tough, but look at that. Looks great. Got all my stuff together, guys. First thing you see, my entrance Jumbo Juice sign. Over here is my menu. We have a variety of smoothies, and as you can see, all sizes are $4. And over here, we have my kitchen with all my prepping area and all my different fruits and yogurt and my blender to mix my smoothies. And lastly, we have our sitting area outside because my building is in the smaller size, but I mean, you can enjoy the outside weather. And all the restaurants are all all done guys, now it is time to go and judge them. Everybody's gonna go inside the restaurants, take a little bit something to eat, and we're gonna have an extra secret shopper. Hi there, I'm, I'm your first customer today. All right, come in. How do I get in here? Do I just jump in? Wow. I'm an expert bouncy hunter. Yeah. All right, so what do you have here? So here I have two different options. We have the $10.99 make it yourself, and the $23.99 I make it for you. Made what? by you. I thought every restaurant you make it for me. What's going on here? Well, I like I wanted to give it a good deal. I know I don't know if I brought like more than twenty bucks for a meal. That's twenty three ninety nine. I'm gonna have you make it though. I'll pay with card. You have the money? Yeah. Okay. Well, great. Then uh, let's get started. All right. What kind of bread do you want? Got um, these four. Um, they're, they're all look the same. They're all original. I'll yeah. Take the, I'll just take that one. Okay. I'll give you this one because it's already cut. All right. What kind of meat would you like? I've got black forest ham. All right. I'll take black forest ham. Okay. Great. And then what kind of cheese do you want? It seems like you already chose for me. I've got provolone. Okay, that sounds good. All right, and do you want this toasted? Yes. Okay, great. I'm just kidding, I got it in my food. And it's all toasted. Oh my God, it's actually toasted inside uh -huh. a bouncy house. Exactly, that's that's what we do here at Subway. Tiny little toaster oven. Okay, and what kind of vegetables do you want? I have lettuce and tomato. I'll take both. Okay, great. That's actually the best service I've ever got from Subway. Do you want? Mayo and mustard. Okay, great. You're mayo and mustard. Okay, here we go. That's a lot of mustard. I just want so a little want bit. you want more mayo? A little bit of mustard. No, that's more good. That's a, that's a good amount of mayo. Thank you. More mayo? No, I'm good. No. no. That's a no. So I want you to get like the best fast food experience. So you said a little bit of mustard? Yeah. She's going to do the exact opposite of that. Excuse me? Well, that's what they do in fast food. You never get what you want. Excuse me, this isn't paradise. I should have just made it myself. Maybe that was a pretty and good option. And lastly, ugh, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna oh, spit what? in it. <laughs> and here goes, sir, sandwich and there's no spit in it. Oh, right, you sure there's no spit? Yeah. Let me try this, let me try this. It tastes pretty good. Pretty good for a bouncy house, right? Pretty good for a bouncy house subway. All right, so I'm gonna take this to go because I got okay. other places to go. Wait, 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 wait. You have to go down the slide. That is a mud. That's a law in this subway. What? I can't get out like normally? No, you have to go out. Well, I got back issues. Uh, you don't have back issues. I can't. Okay. All right, fine. Let's go down the slide. It sounds fun anyway. There's a thing in the way. I guess I gotta go through here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Hi, have a good day. Come again. Oh. I wanted it to go. Oh, I got mustard on my shirt. This was the worst experience ever. Oh, sir, you can come back in and get a new sandwich. No, I don't think I will. I can drop the price down from 23 to 20.99. I know. Good morning. Welcome to Jamba Juice. How can I help you today? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. All sizes are four dollars, so yep. I'll take a red fruit blend. Red fruit blend coming right up. Excuse me. I'm in the drive-thru and nobody's got taken my order for the past five minutes. I'll be right with you, sir. Wait, um, can I just take my order? You're right here. I'm helping another customer. As soon as I'm done, I'll be right with you. This is terrible service. <laughs> take my order. Okay, what would you like to order, sir? I want a red strawberry blend thing fruit. All right, coming right up. Now we blend. <laughs> Out 
really good. You know what? This is taking too long. I'm gonna go see what's going on in that kitchen. I've been here for the past 10 minutes. What's going on? Excuse me, is this the kitchen? Yes. Why am I waiting 10 minutes for a food Sir, blend? You just got here. I'm trying my best. You're supposed to wait in line. We had a customer right before you, but we'll help you as soon as we can. Wow, that's actually pretty good service compared to the last one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my car. Uh, I kinda, I like this place, but it's healthy stuff. I kinda wanted junk, but that's okay. Uh oh. Uh. All right, here you go. It looks like it exploded. Nope, it didn't. I need to get my drink. Excuse me. Beep beep. This is not a very nice <laughs> customer. You should get security up in here. All right, sir. Thank you for waiting. You've been a great uh -huh. customer. I hope you enjoy that. Oh, I need to try this. This looks actually really good. It's healthy. It's okay, I guess. But it's healthy. It is now my turn to get some food. First place I am going is Taco Bell. I want to see. I want to see what he's got going on in here. So let me get in. Oh, hey, welcome, my first customer of the day. Wow, 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 oh, Amira. There's meat everywhere. Oh. Amira, what have you done? Don't oily, nasty. You know what, you're banned from Taco Bell from getting in. You can order from outside. Mine by me, I don't want to go in there. It's a mess, there's meat all over the place. Uh, what can I get you today? Uh, well, oh. What is there? Uh, we got a number seven, small or large, because that's all we serve here. Number seven is the best. Okay. I'll take a large seven. A large number seven coming right up. Oh, my first elf. My first self today. So usually I would have customers come in and uh, be with me while I cook. But uh, since you made a mess, you're not welcome in. The, the meat was there already when I got there, okay? You should have it in containers like meat. This is very wobbly in here. I, I didn't think about that, honestly. Dang it. So this is the quesadilla, and I know exactly how to make a quesadilla. I forgive you. I, I can allow you to put your own so cheese if you like. Are you mad at me? Yeah. Right. Would you like to put your own cheese? And now we close it, and that's a quesadilla. Is that all we get? Nope. Oh, cool. It's a number seven. I feel like it could be cool, like a crunch wrap. No, this is only a number seven. That would be a crunch wrap. Well, we sell as number seven, large and small. All right. Oh my. Can you just put chicken in there instead? No, this is a number seven, large. Yeah, you can substitute the beef for chicken. Done it at other locations before. Not hearing you. <laughs> this is terrible service. And cheese. Put that on the plate. Now we wait for the quesadilla. Forgot one main ingredient, salsa. Now we like to give it a lot of sauce here because we're not greedy Taco Bell. And number seven. Here you go. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna eat the taco later because I don't really want to eat it. But you're I'm gonna try the, I'm gonna try this quesadilla. You're ruining the quesadilla. Well, maybe you should have made it better. Mmm. I'm not melted. That well, Taco Bell usually doesn't melt their cheese at the end of the day. He's got a point. You know, I'll just go to my shop and I'm gonna put it in the oven. Taco Bell. I've never seen a Taco Bell like this before, but I'm going in. Okay, definitely never seen a Taco Bell like this. Why is there meat on the floor? Welcome to Taco Bell. No, why? You just said I'm open to Taco Bell. Why is there meat on the floor? Don't worry about it. What would you like to eat today? I only see the number seven. All right, number seven large coming right up. So I'm cooking your quesadilla here, but I don't want to move too much because as you can see, things move around. So could you pass me the chicken fajitas over there? Wait, I have to help you cook? This is a, a customer experience. Could you please uh, pass me the chicken fajitas? I mean, if I want to cook for myself, I could always go to Subway. Apparently that's on the menu. Where to make it yourself? It's true. You know what? I was just grabbing myself. I gotta pay for a service here. It's seven dollars. Oh! And apparently it's not good service at all. I, I'm trying not to move, but fate says otherwise. So it's made for a small man like me and a big guy like moving. him. Uh, Maybe if I increase my, my No, can my you span. please just stop moving then? It's coming right up, sir. It's almost done. Don't worry about it. That's not cooking. That's just on the Hey, uh, me, uh, uh, did I? Who is this person telling me what to do? I, I think she's a health inspector. to the structural integrity of your bouncy house. Excuse me. Yeah, well, not to my business. You're going to make me lose a customer. Well, by the looks of it, he's serving me a medium rare taco. Boneless. I prefer my tacos boneless. All right. Thank you for coming in. Okay. That'll be $10, by the way. $10? Yeah. But the men... Oh. Yeah. Oh. $10. <laughs> I can give you a cent pack, but I usually keep it. I don't know. It looks kind of small to me. I, I mean, if I, if I, if I cover this, then it, then it looks kind of small. You know what? Give me $10 or I'm going to call the cops. Let, let me just... Ah! Oh! Whoa! There's a 40 oh my in my ear! You know what? We're shutting down Taco Bell. Taco Bell shut down! Okay, well, I had a terrible experience at Taco Bell. The food wasn't really cooked. The tortilla was cold. The chicken was cold. And at the end, there was an explosion and my food went everywhere. So, I'm gonna try you. Can I have the smoothie? Of course! Welcome to Jumbo Juice, where you're gonna have the best experience. Smoothie coming right up. Uh, you know 
it. I have a you choose. I'll just let you choose. All right, I have the perfect smoothie for you, and it's gonna come out like this fast. Be okay, right cool. back. All right, well, I have this leftover smoothie, and I just wanna, you know, show her how fast my service is. So, you know, I'm just, just gonna give her this one. And you know what? I put a banana on top, and she is going to love it because the service is so good and fast. I am done. Here you go. Was that fast or what? It was fast, but I just watched you just get the leftovers from the last smoothie you made. No, I didn't. It was, you know, I had already why prepared it. it. Why do you have ice in the smoothie? Um, because it makes it where? Why are you? What? Well, I'm showing you that, you know, you're supposed to be healthy even when you're working. All right, so it's time for me to get some food. Let's see what's out there. Taco Bell. Maybe they have like, no, they, I know they have like the gluten-free taco. Hey! Yeah? <laughs> can I get a crunchy taco, please? No, you can't get a crunchy taco. Can't you see we're closed? <laughs> Why are you closed? You just literally opened. A disaster happened. You mean Francisco happened. <laughs> Okay, well, I, I don't think Paul's having a good day, so I'm just just gonna go over there. I seems like there's Subway, so I'm just gonna have some Subway now. Hi. Hello. Hi. Ooh. Um, hi. Can 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 I get some? Um, can I get a gluten-free sub, please? Yeah, of course. Um, gluten-free. Yeah, gluten-free. I'm sure you have gluten-free bread, right? So I don't have that, but I do have a gluten-free alternative. Can I get the alternative, please? I'm okay. really hungry. I, I don't know what happened over there at the Taco Bell stand. What kind of uh, meat do you want? Black forest ham? Yes. That sounds good. Great. Um, or what else do you have? That's it. What are you doing? It's the gluten-free alternative. Uh, no. Um, can I have it out of the bag? And um, okay. why is there a dog coming? He's just giving me a delivery for more food. Oh, okay. You want some ham? He's a customer. What kind of cheese do you want? Provolone? Do you have American cheese? No, I have provolone. Um, I'll take provolone. Okay. Um, do you want some yes, lettuce? Yes, I want all the veggies you have. Lettuce, tomato, pickles, uh, green onions, olives. Oh, bell peppers, please. Can you put some bell peppers also? Yeah, you can imagine those on there. I don't have any. Uh, what kind of dressings do you like? Um, I would like some mayonnaise and um, a little bit of mustard. Mayonnaise and mustard. You said a little? A little bit. I got you. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, um, that is it. Would you like this toasted? I forgot to ask. Yes. Actually, since it's a gluten-free alternative, I can't toast it. That's okay, it looks really good. You know what? I'm gonna give you a 10 star review. All right, thank you. Wait, you gotta go down the slide. No, 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 I'm, I'm down, thank you. I gotta go back to open my store. I'll get her. It is now time for voting. Paul, you can go first. Who do you vote for? Man, this is a hard one because Subway, I dropped my center because she made me go down the slide, but I would have voted for that well, maybe one. Maybe you should have slid down better. And then, and then Jumbo Juice was really good, oh, but so you didn't have to go down the slide. it's just healthy stuff. I didn't really want Jumbo Juice, so I'm going to go with wow, 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 Jumbo Juice. Yes! Oh, come on. Maybe I should take the slide law out. All right, you next. Subway. I mean, it was delicious, and All they have right. a gluten-free option. Yeah. And I'm going to have to vote for... Honestly, I had really bad time at both of them. But um, hey, my service was fast. No, she, she gave you leftover, was, I saw. It was fast, though. She gave I you leftovers. I got it. I choose Taco Bell. Woo! In the end, he actually gave me some food. You gave me leftovers. But it was fast, and I gave you a banana per potassium. Okay, well, it seems like we run into a tie, but don't worry, because we still have the one last secret shopper. Who do you vote for? Well, since Taco Bell closed down over there for some reason, I think a natural disaster happened there or something like that. I, I don't know. I didn't go to Subway, so I guess Jamba Juice. <gasps> oh, I guess you win! Jamba Juice for the win, and she had the smallest bounty house. It seems like that one was the least problematic and chaotic. I think it's safe to say maybe we shouldn't open fast food places in bounty houses. Maybe it doesn't mix. Oh, you know? maybe, maybe talk for yourself. I had a great success. You just closed down, Paul. Doesn't matter. Anyways, time. guys, comment out below if you guys want a part two of the bounty house fast food. And that is Leave the Switch. It really helps. I 